Hi traders, today I want to share with you just a quick and easy strategy of how you can handle an iron condor that's coming under pressure on the upside a little bit. You can also use this strategy on the downside, but let's assume we've got a Netflix iron condor here that's become a little bit skewed, the stock's rallied, and we've definitely got more risk on the upside than we do on the downside. You can see we've got negative delta, negative delta dollars, and we definitely want the stock to move back towards the middle of the condor. And our short calls are at 600, which is a delta of about 30. So that's getting to a sort of level where, you know, it's starting to get into that danger zone. And, you know, a lot of people will get into this situation and they might think, oh, 600, that's a long way away. You know, I don't think Netflix is going to get up there by expiry. I'm going to just hold on and hope. And, you know, as we know, hope isn't really a strategy in the market. So one thing you can do to hedge a little bit of your risk here. Let's say you don't want to adjust these strikes. You want to leave the condor as it is, but you want to take away a bit of this price risk that you've got on the upside. You can see if Netflix rallies another five, 6%, you know, you're know you going to be down another five or $600 on this trade. And what we can do is just a simple delta hedge by buying some shares of the underlying. So let's take a look at how this looks initially. So this is our initial trade. And then we'll look at a partial hedge and then a full delta hedge. So first off, partial delta hedge. So you can see here the iron condor, so this is a full hedge first. The iron condor itself has got delta of negative nine. So what we do is we come in here and we buy nine shares of Netflix. Look at that, our delta is now zero. Delta dollars, negative four. That's about as low as you're ever gonna get. Very hard to get delta dollars like perfectly zero, but that's very, very close. You've basically taken away all the directional risk that you've got in this trade for now. now obviously your delta is going to change as time passes and as the stock moves, but you can see that interim line now is much flatter. Okay, we've got much less risk on the upside. Now, if Netflix rallies five, six percent, we're only going to drop another, you know, less than $250 on the upside. Okay. And we've changed the structure of the expiration graph where we actually might do okay if the stock rallies up towards that 600 level, as long as it doesn't happen too early, okay? We can potentially see this condor expire fully worthless and we might even make a little bit of money on our hedge. Now, what we do if the stock drops back down, we're gonna obviously lose a little bit of money on our hedge, but that's okay, because that's our sort of insurance. It's our hedge, it's doing its job. It's allowing us to stay in the condor a little bit longer. If it comes back into the middle here, we then get rid of our hedge and we just continue to manage the condor as normal. Okay, so this is something that I'll do quite regularly. If I don't want to touch the underlying condor, I don't want to make an adjustment to the condor. I'm, you know, I'm happy that I don't think Netflix is going to get to 600, but I'm worried about, you know, further upside in the stock in the short term. Okay, so that's a full delta hedge. Uh, you don't have to do a full delta hedge. You could also do a partial delta hedge. You've obviously added more risk on the downside here, but it's just an interim measure. You can see less risk on the upside here now at expiration and more risk on the downside. But the idea is that if it drops back 5% or so, it gets back into the middle of that zone, you take the hedge off again. You've taken a little bit of a loss on your hedge, but you can hopefully manage that condor into expiration. As I said, that's a full hedge. You don't necessarily have to do a full delta hedge. Here you can see a partial delta hedge. So instead of buying nine shares, we've just bought five shares. We've still got a little bit of negative delta, but we've helped flatten out that T plus zero line a little bit. And again, we can do the same thing. If the stock drops back down, we close out the hedge. We take a little bit of a loss on the hedge. We just go back to managing that condor. If the stock rallies that five, 6%, yes, we're down another two, $300 or so, but much better than that $600 that we saw initially um, if it rallies five or six percent in the next few days. So that's a strategy that you might consider uh, adding into your iron condor management. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, let me know.